Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk and last episode I just do some things and mostly failed on some tasks that I was supposed to do because I failed two orders last episode unfortunately and last episode was kind of rough uh, honestly because uh, I just woke up when I recorded that video and it was very noisy so yeah I hope I can make up for it in this episode so yeah let's begin with this video okay the music is not playing for some reason okay there we go the music is not okay it's Tuesday September 29th 2020 WHO vows to stop major hospital selling fear sedative illegally Coachella 2020 10 reasons why you should go Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, so these two. These two friends. He really never changed. I know. But it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. No mention it. Hey, Whiskery Frog. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. You know what? Try adding- Oh! Try, try adding milk. Try adding milk to the ingredients you already have. Alright. You know what to do. Okay, so it was tea, milk, and I'm pretty sure it's ginger so he just gave us the clue this time so let's see here okay tea ginger and milk okay so Galahad okay so well th there's a latte art in this it's looks like a werewolf in a heart so I suppose this is it so yeah let's try and serving this thing Gala it also has its name on it so try this Thank you. Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Heidi? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh, did you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Ugh, those two bastards. It, was, it wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I have... I mean, it doesn't mean I know Kung Fu. Besides, I'd have a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both when I, if I was sober. Sober. A couple, really. You were trashed, Heidi. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, you were not his bodyguard? Were you weren't ah oh, crap, I get can't read that. Not at that not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of the whole fiasco, you both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too dr drunk to drive, so I hailed a cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived, and I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Two those dwarves could have killed me. Who are they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. But it's, but it's possible they may have hired ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Heidi was innocent and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck, the universe sending me a guardian angel in, a, in my time of speed need. I can't read 
Oh my goodness. So the next morning, I offered, I offered him a job as a bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you cost me that night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? War, vet war veterans. Ah, I see. Oh, he was a war veteran. Oh, I guess that explains those scars, I guess, or are those from his theory moments? So how did you f go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed. Heidi, I'd prefer if we skip that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's, it's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So, you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping win me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Whiskery Frog, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Okay, let's see. A tea-based drink. So tea has to be cool and warm. Okay, so this is definitely cool and warm. Okay, what's warm? Okay, so warm. Okay, so definitely a mint. And I suppose a ginger. Wait. Yeah, let's go for lemon. Let's see what this thing makes. It's cold and it's cold and warm at the same time. So I suppose that's mint lemon tea. Yeah, let's serve it. Let's see how he reacts. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen her today. Oh, Freya. Speak of... Oh, yeah, I, I was about to say that too. Ha! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. Uh, and one vampire. <laughs> It's good to see you too. Freya, by the way, we were just talking about- oh, oh crap, that was Gala talking. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young, young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work for on me. <laughs> I have no interest. And flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. You. You look so tired for you. Or do you at work? Uh, uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Whiskery Frog my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. And I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's that's good to hear. But please, don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital ad admining life going? That's not even a word for ya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm pretty boring to talk about, but mostly, I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like 
how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. They also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensi intensive care such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives then. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job, job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necess necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, uh, for me, I just don't mind. Just for me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. Should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. Yo, he needs he needs to be a bit less loyal though. Hi V. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa! I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy. I ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the sal but the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get graces while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Anyway, anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you go are you going to stay, Heidi? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll i I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Whiskery Frog, and you, Freya. See ya. Take care on your way. Okay, hold up. Let me just open my thing here. Tomodachi. Wait, wait, wait up. Gala, two hearts. Heidi, three hearts or three thing. Stock trader. Okay, he's a stock trader apparently, and Gala. Let's see, more stuff. Veteran not working in the hospital. Okay, that's good to hear from Gala. Blue pad, let's see here. And we got ourselves the new Gala hide. Uh, ginger chai latte, good to call me at warm your nerve. Not a warm your nerve. You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story. Yes, come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Huh, alright then. We met in the place back when it was a bar. And yeah. Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze this story from me? Obviously, he doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on. I won't get into details, but going to war. It. Oh no, that's not good. 
it messes with your head. Oh, you see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength, so he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not, but it was the only thing he could do, or at least, it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard, and we weren't that close yet. So no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then, I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person, that's all. And after a few months, I noticed this is his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone's seek help, which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Especially, he didn't go to get professional help. Of course, I've no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He, could, he quit working for me. And not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work. Oh. Oh, the space guy thing. Good evening, everyone. Oh boy, good evening, ah good evening, it's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name, we sure have. On earth, oh, we are all friends, so I have achievement unlocked on it. On earth, please call us Neil. Neil, Neil, yes, Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of association with Earthlings' efforts and intergalactic exploration. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we do not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Heidi. You come here often? For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where, where did you come from? Far away. By, by far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this. We chose this appearance based on an image we saw. When we first arrived- Okay, so this guy is strange because he keeps on referring to himself as a plural we. We image? Ah, the Aremi Jen Drew album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with earthlings. Before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes, so anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that you can make that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But without you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Okay, so what? Okay, so let's see the Tomoda Chill, maybe? Neil. Friends only, friends only, close friends only. No. Okay, no nothing. Okay, surprise him. What is this? Okay, I guess I'll just make him coffee and a chocolate drink, I suppose. 
I mean, yeah, I guess this is dark chocolate. Let's see here. A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. What the? Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Oh boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment? Yes. Nor normally, yes. But you can't be sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date? All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. Turns out perps exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if you can make us make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is but it, that, but it, we are sorry, but that is classified information. Aw oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it, but we cannot say it is going well. Not surprised, but with how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Could you handle them though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If, you, if it got you a good story. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that. Not in the slightest. You're wrong though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't think I'll sleep around. Really. To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather? Does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you or for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You, you either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. This is... this is very strange. According, according to what we found, many earthlings meet with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm, now that, now that you mentioned it, we don't have enough control of ourselves, and those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of uh, people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your children also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least, that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that could be the case, but earthlings are stupid. That's the, easy way, the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today, but we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can, you, how can we become your husband? <laughs> First of all, I would suggest going to step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating, boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Ah, okay. So... How can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's sexually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. So, do you want to be your girlfriend? Now, the path to starting to date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow, the breeding process on Earth is truly is extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. 
that would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a total different league. Most women prefer if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms, but how do you, how do your kind have sex? Like seeing how you, how you drink. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm, that's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that, but we cannot tell you the details unless you, we agree to do the mating ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's go how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. It will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research, and we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthling is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the inf information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will we proceed with your mission with the, this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We're off now. Bye. Take her on your way, sir. Okay, so that thing's gone. Hmm. Alright. That was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came, and then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer arc? Wow, I tried to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, has the young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was, pre was being pretty no nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seattle tomorrow. So I, uh, I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back sooner than you know. Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Heh. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. I didn't even notice. Yeah, me too. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Heh, <laughs> that's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, don't you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Okay, new inventory thing. Alright then, see you around. Take care, take care on your way, folks. That was Lemony Snippet, A Fortunate Tale in a Cup. Alright. Okay, press and key. Let's see here. And that was it for this episode. So, yeah, pretty interesting. So, it went smoothly, and I finally got Mr. Gala's order correct this time. All I needed was to add milk, which really confused me because last time he said that. He doesn't want any milk in his drink, so yeah. That was it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more episodes of Coffee Talk.